Good positive YouTube, how's it going everybody? Got for you guys today an Are You Battle that I had against my good friend Richard. And this was actually before the official Are You was kind of released. And I think the only non Are You thing on Richard's team is Flygon, although I'm not 100% sure, but Flygon doesn't really do much in this battle. Anyways, I just want to go ahead and say thank you to everybody who liked the previous Wife of Battle. We completely destroyed. 400 likes which is just incredible i feel even more motivated to want to upload for you guys so thank you to everybody who did like that battle and much like that one if we can get this one up to 400 likes i will definitely make sure to upload another video for you guys tomorrow maybe even two if i can now look at my team preview going into this battle the biggest problem I saw on Richard's team was going to be that Among Us just because if you look at my team I don't exactly have anything to hit it for stab super effective damage so Among Us is definitely going to be a pain in my ass to take down. So Rich is going to be leading off with his goal because I'm going to be leading off with my Excavalier and of course Richard is going to be that guy who goes for the confusion hacks turn one. Luckily though I'm not going to get hurt in confusion and I'm going to be able to get off a solid 98% amount of damage on the Golurk as he ends up taking the opportunity next turn to get up his Stealth Rocks, hoping that I would hit myself in confusion. Thankfully for me though, my Excavalier is well trained as I'm able to knock him out with another knockoff. That means I no longer have to worry about the Golurk as he brings in the Moltres. I know Richard is a big fan of Sub Bruce Moltres, so I'm going to predict him to want to go for the Substitute and I'm just going to stay in and go for the knockoff as he ends up going for the Fire Blast expecting me to want to stay in predicting him to want to go for the knockoff as now i can bring in my seismic i forgot this thing's name seismic toad and he unfortunately ends up missing the hurricane but i mean it is 70 accuracy so it does have a solid chance to miss unfortunately though i get really lucky next turn and he actually misses the second hurricane now in the long run of this battle i'm not entirely too sure how much that second miss really would have mattered you guys can be the judges of that as i'm able to easily to a KO the moltres he is now going to be able to bring in his cinchino and of course i'm going to be fearing the tail slap or the bullet seed so i decided to switch directly into my max defense max hp whimsicott which honestly i really have to change up this whimsicott set just because i have no stab move on it, and you're going to see that really ends up hurting me later in this battle so he ends up making a very nice play, goes for the U-turn, predicting me to want to switch out, predicting him to want to go for the Bullet Seater Terror Slap as he ends up U-turning out into the Among Us. This thing is actually quite the problem as I already mentioned. And of course Richard will bring the one Pokemon that I do not prepare for whatsoever. So I switch into my Seism Toad, expecting him to just go for the safe Sludge Bomb as he does end up going for it. He does end up getting a little bit of Payback Hacks and gets the Poison on me, which does suck, but in the long run of the battle it really is not as important as that Hurricane Miss would have been in my opinion. But I'm just going to stay in and I'm actually going to go for the Earth Power, predicting him to bring in the Gastrodon, predicting me to want to go for the Scald. Unfortunately, this Seismic Toad does not carry Toxic on it, and if I did have Toxic, I would have most likely gone for it this turn. But as you're about to see, it's kind of good that I don't have Toxic because Richard is actually going to switch into the Amoongus, predicting me to bring in my Shaman. So I did get predicted this turn, but I guess I would have rather had my Shaman in instead of my Seismic Toad because now I'll have to switch something into an attack coming from Amoongus. Unfortunately though, even though I do have Hidden Power or Ice or Fire, it's Hidden Power super effective. And it does practically nothing to the Amoongus. But he ends up going for the Sludge Bomb. I'm able to live, and my game plan right here was to try to get off as much damage as I can on the Amoongus. Uh, that way I can bring in my Drapion, try to set up a Swordzance, and possibly sweep with Drapion because I'm very positive I should be able to take a Tail Slap coming from Sinchino and I know Richard likes to run defensive Flygon so I don't have to worry about that whatsoever and if I can even weaken the Gastrodon I can knock it out with my Sharpedo and sweep with Sharpedo so basically my two win conditions right now are Drapion and Sharpedo so I bring in my Drapion after getting off a crit Earth Power which honestly does not matter because most likely Richard still would have left in his Amoongus this turn predicting me to want to set up as I do go for the Swords Dance I do actually have the Lumberry as I'm going to be able to wake up. I'm a plus two stabbed 
with knockoff, nothing on his team is going to take this hit, and Richard knows this, so he's going to leave in his Among Us for Death Fodder as he ends up taking this opportunity to bring in Sinchino. You know, as I said, I'm very positive I should be able to live a tail slap, hopefully, just because Drapion does have a really solid physical defense stat. So he goes for four, he hits the fifth one, and I live on six HP, allow me to be able to easily one shot this Shinchino. And he was actually very surprised because we had this battle in call. So I knocked that out as he brings in the flag on. As I said, I know Richard likes defensive flag on. I'm just hoping that a plus two I'll be able to knock this out. Unfortunately, he lives on like 4% and he's going to be able to knock me out with the U-turn. And as you saw, I lost my Shaman, which means that Gastrodon now has become big ass problem number one. And as I mentioned earlier, I don't have a stab move on my Whimsicott. So I bring in my Seismic Toad, I go for the knockoff I believe, and then I'm just going to stay in spamming Earth Power, hoping that I can get off enough damage to the point where I can then bring in my Sharpedo and knock him out with the Crunch. Unfortunately though, because I did live an extra turn of toxic damage, I'm not going to be able to get off too much damage, or any damage for that matter, on this Gastrodon as I end up getting knocked out by the toxic. So I bring in my Women's Cut, I told Richard I didn't have a stab move, and he's just going to stay and just wanted to see what I wanted to do as I just go for the Memento. I might actually change up Memento for Giga Drain, because I could have Giga Drained the Flygon or the Gastrodon, and at this point my last Pokemon is my Sharpedo, which unless I get a super duper mega ultra crit on the Gastrodon, there is no chance I will be able to knock it out and win this battle just because Sharpedo is a glass cannon and it cannot really take hits too well. So I go for the crunch, do a solid like 48, 49% as he's going to be able to knock me out with the earth power and actually if I lived earth power I might have maybe been able to knock him out with another crunch just because I did get the defense drop either way It was still just a very very fun battle So if you guys enjoyed make sure to leave a like leave a comment subscribe to some more content and with that guys I will see you all tomorrow make sure to go check out my boy Richard his channel link will be down in the description and if you missed my previous uploads they are playing on your screen right now so go check those out and I am out of here later everybody